Hey guys, welcome to this week's OMG Tuesday. We are at it again, playing with a totally weird, strange product that I have ordered off of the internet that really, I don't know if I have much faith in, but I got curious and that's like a good sign to me when I am laying in bed with my laptop on eBay, like looking at weird products and something jumps out and I'm like, ooh, I wonder if that works. Like maybe it won't, it probably won't, but we're gonna try it anyway. So today we have this little gem right here. This is a 3D dynamic beauty puff. Looking at this online, it looks very high end, very polished, just really solid. And the idea of it sounds great. The description actually says that it vibrates 10,000 times per minute. It's gonna increase circulation in the skin. This is going to apply your foundation seamlessly and it has a flat top and it's a pretty wide flat top I'm thinking oh, okay. Yeah, I'm it's it's like this so to me, I was like, oh, it's like a flat version of the Clarisonic. These are you know bristles I love you. We are friends I'm just going down a different path for one minute to see if this works. This is also so much more affordable. So this guy right here, the 3D Dynamic Beauty Puff is $12.99. We all know a Clarisonic is a lot more, but the technology in this one, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. So um, my point was this is, you know, bristles, brushes, this is a sponge. And they say that you can wash this, clean it and reuse it. The sponge actually, oh. This is not high quality. Um, not that I was expecting that much off of eBay for $12.99, but um, yeah, the sponge quality is not that great. We're gonna try it anyway. I wanna see like how intense this actually will vibrate, you know, get the, get the blood flowing I am into. So it pulsating that many times per minute, I'm like, yeah. Let's like do a little beauty treatment while we put on our foundation. That sounds really, really cool. I'm an infomercial queen too, if you didn't know this. I am that person that like wanted to try the ab roller and really was into proactive and thought that would like cure my acne as a teenager and like anything that like draws me in and is like, this is gonna work. Like I'm like, yes. Like I wanna have faith in it. Opening this up for the first time, I have two immediate thoughts. One, oh cool, it's purple. My favorite color is purple. Two, Oh, weird, it looks really cheap and kind of like a sex toy. The case, like this is the picture you see online. It looks very like, it's chic, it would look good on your vanity, it's gold, it looks like a very nice material. And then you get it and it's like, what is this? Or it's like, it's like a ring pop. Hey, why does it have a ring on there actually? This does kind of look like a vibrator. But then again, it's a vibrator, right? And like, <coughs> I can't even say that without choking. It does pulsate 10,000 beats per minute. Um, I'll just leave it at that. You know, maybe people are buying this for other purposes. This is what you get. You have it all set up for you, sponge already attached. You get two additional sponges as well. I would refer to directions online on eBay if you, um, speak English and you need English directions because what you get, I literally, I don't understand any of this because it's not my language. I think this is pretty self-explanatory though. It is a sponge that pulsates. It's gonna help your foundation go on very beautifully, seamlessly, and give you a little bit of a massage at the same time. So we are just going to zoom on in and start the whole routine of putting on my makeup. And you know, maybe for $12.99, this is a cool added tool in the beauty routine, but we'll find out together. Look what you made me do. It's really hot in the studio today, like extra hot. I don't know what is going on with California, but the air conditioning is on again. You guys don't seem to mind. I don't know why I've been suffering on my channel for all these years to keep it perfectly quiet, but uh, yeah. If you hear that noise, that's what it is. So today for foundation, you guessed it, we're gonna take the YSL all hours because I am ridiculously addicted to this and I wanna see how this device works with my current favorite foundation. So I'm gonna take a few pumps onto my glass palette as I normally do. I'm kinda not sure what the best way to go about this, if I should like dot my face or just like dunk the whole thing into the foundation. Wait, this is not even turning on. Work. <laughs> okay, so you have to open the battery thing and go like that. Let's hope that did it. 
This is so cheap. You guys, seriously, this is like their dinkiest, cheapest thing ever. You looked so high class online. I feel like this is like a dating app where you meet the guy in real life and you're like, oh, mm-hmm. Sure, you're 6'2". You misrepresented yourself, little fella. Okay. Oh. This would almost be embarrassing to use and have people be like, what the hell is she doing in the room? Um, okay, we're just gonna dot the face. I need to stop. I just need to put my makeup on. Stop. We'll just start there and kind of, oh, it's so like hard. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one. Let's do this. Seriously? I mean, I know you're $12.99, but couldn't you work a little bit better? Dear God. This is like the most bomb foundation and it's making it look like poop. That looks like poop. Okay, really hard to get around the nose. All right, I'm gonna go in dipping straight into the, to the foundation. Like we've like saturated it. We're just gonna see if that helps. Okay. I just wanna show you, just so you guys understand like the difference. I'm gonna just even like smear this on the Clarisonic and just watch. Coverage, blendability, making the product stretch, amazingness, flawless, beautiful, silky, no lines, perfect, expensive. Okay, tell me you can see a difference. This side looks so just like, shoop, foundation success. This side is like, <laughs> she needs help. I'm gonna finish my foundation because I just feel gross talking to the camera like this. We'll be right back. And a lot of blending later, here I am. I managed to, you know, even out the other side of my face. And I think we all gather that this is the crappiest foundation applying product I think I have ever used. I have tried so many different vibrating this and, and the Clarisonic brush and vibrating weird brushes and weird shaped sponges. And you know, I always am game to try something new to apply foundation or a new tool. You know, it's kind of like my thing. So we gave it a go. But that being said, this is the worst one I have ever used on my channel. Not even worth the $12.99. It's just freaking weird. If this were to work, I would say the big improvement that needs to be made is the quality of the sponge. It's just so hard. It's literally like smearing your foundation on with just like a hard surface. There's no cushion, there's no give, there's no grabbing the product back. So it just feels like you're just rubbing like a weird vibrating device on your face and it's not really blending anything anywhere. So total fail. I hope you guys still enjoyed this type of a video. I don't think I'll ever stop doing them because I love me a good weird product. If you find one online, be sure to tweet me a photo of it. Leave comments below. Um, you guys give me great ideas on crazy stuff to review. So always keep that coming my way. And uh, yeah, that is about it. Dud, pass fail. Do not buy this. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.